Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to estimate the Driscoll and K standard error regression analysis for panel data in Stata. The this is a simple panel data model with fixed and random effects, but it has modified standard errors. And the advantage of this model is that it can control for uh, spatial or temporal dependence. Means uh, it, it is it is robust to uh, cross-section dependence or uh, uh, when the time dimensions are large means if your data set has long time periods uh, or even uh, uh, you, you have a panel data and, and there is a chance that there is a cross-section dependence you can use this model to control for uh, cross-section dependence other models that are discussed earlier the like uh, FGLS they, they they have an ability to control for heteroscedasticity and autocollation uh, and autocollation specifically for time series. Uh, this uh, model is used to control the autocollation in the cross section domain also. So this is a second generation model in the second uh, in static panel data. So we'll start with the example. So I'll open up the code file. So data file is already loaded. It's shown here. I will go up and I will start with first of all declare the data set is panel data. So ID is already made. So I will declare that data set is panel data. Okay. And then I will generate a log value for the dependent variable and it's already created in my file. So this is the first equation. So this call and create estimates, fixed error regression, and I have used four lags to control for uh, to make the model robust. Overall F test is significant. Uh, F test is significant, R square is 2% uh, because the example that I made is very is not uh, does not have a high R square. And I will store these fixed effect estimates which are significant for both variables. And then I will store estimate for the random effect model and R square is 1%. Overall F test is significant and the variables are significant. Then I will store them as RE and then Hausman FERE. So here it is insignificant, means the random effect model is suitable. So you can use this model. Uh, the estimate coefficients might not be very different from fixed and random effect model, but the uh, the standard error calculation are different, uh, have a different method as compared to fixed and random effect. Because of that, the T values and P values might be different if you compare it with the uh, random random effect model. So because of that, this model is robust to uh, cross section dependence. So that's why we call it second generation static panel data model. So hope you like this video. Do try this model if you have uh, cross section dependence. We can we can show you how to do it. So it, the part is XTCS XTCD2, and you write the variable E L E X P O, and when you run it. It will show you cross section dependence value, so it is significant in all cases. All four tests references are available, so it has strong cross section dependence. That's why I had to do second generation model. So, hope you like this video. Do, do try this model on your studies and let me know in the comments uh, how did they how, how the results were different and did they improve your outcome or not. Thank you.